Good morning from St. Pancras Station. I'm doing something very special today and I need a little bit of help. So I've got Jean with me and we're gonna be hopping on the Eurostar to Paris and showing you the three different classes that you can book to get there or on the way back. I'll be traveling Business Premier. I'm traveling Standard Premier. And we're both gonna be traveling Standard on the way back from Paris. And we'll let you know if we think it's worth it to upgrade or not. So let's go check in. Let's go. One of the things I love about taking the train over the plane is how laid back it is. However, the Eurostar security and immigration experience does sometimes remind me of what it's like to be at an airport. The queues are always quite long and usually you do have to arrive at least an hour ahead of time, especially if you're traveling in peak season. However, if you have a business premiere ticket, you get to use the fast track lane, which is right behind me. And there's literally not a single soul on it. I could have arrived like 10 minutes before my train left. Definitely a really good perk. So come with me and we're gonna go through. Good morning from St. Paris International. I am traveling in Standard Premier today from London all the way to Paris. And the cool thing is that it's not the standard, so it's a bit nicer than just like the basic economy. But I don't get priority fast track, which means I'm gonna get stuck in this queue. And I can see it's already quite long. I reckon about half an hour, but that's it. Let's go and let's see how long it takes. Ten minutes past eight. I've just joined the queue. Uh, train is at 9:30, so I still have plenty of time. But let's see how long it takes to go through all this. Bonjour from Gare du Nord. Today we are going to be going back to London in the standard class, which is like economy. So we're gonna hop on board and show you what that's like. Let's go. Like Jess said, we're flying standard, which means flying standard. no. <laughs> like Jess just said, we are traveling in standard today, so no fast track for us. We're gonna join the queue for our train. So how just holds it? Pretty good actually. I think it only took us about 15 minutes to get through both of the border controls and security. It was the fastest I've ever seen. Yeah, it, same. For yeah. a standard. Really fast. Very good. It's not missing out too much on a fast lane. No, not this time. But what should we do now? We don't have a lounge access. Uh, we can go to the cafe, get something to eat. Let's go then. Okay. Almost one hour to go through security and immigration. Security was quite long, not all of the gates were open, and then during immigration, you have to leave the UK and then to do another one to enter uh, France. Both of them were really, really slow. a very easy 15 minutes through security and border control, I'm now gonna go check out one of the other amazing perks that you get with a business premiere ticket, and that is access to the Eurostar Business Lounge. They've got lounges anywhere that you might take the Eurostar from, and it's got food and drink and loads of other nice stuff to make it comfortable before you get on the train. So let's go check it out. The business lounge, while crowded on the ground floor, was actually much bigger and nicer than I expected. There was a small food buffet where I got a croissant, plus there's free tea, coffee, alcohol, and even fresh smoothies, which is a nice touch. I grabbed a fat stack of free magazines for the journey, and overall, I was a fan of the lounge, but it's definitely better in the evening when I would rather take advantage of the free alcohol. So there's actually a lot more food and drink options on this side of road control than there is in London. So you can get a nice lunch, dinner, snack, whatever you need, and it's quite spacious as well. So we're just gonna go sit, have some food, and wait for our train. Again, almost an hour to do all this. 
uh, which means my train is already boarding, platform five. No time to do anything here, even though there isn't much to do. I can see there's one duty free, one prêt à manger, which is like a little eating shop, and then one thing that looks like a pub. <laughs> uh, too early for a pub. So, yeah. Not loads to do anyway, so I might as well head up straight to platform five. By the way, this video was made possible by our sponsors, Google Pixel. I've been using Google Pixels for years and I just got my hands on this brand new Google Pixel 7 Pro. I use the camera constantly for both work and for fun. And a great new feature is the Super Res Zoom, which gives you crispy 30 time zoom, perfect for shooting the Eiffel Tower from far away. I also love the Magic Eraser, which lets me erase anything out of a picture that is ruining the vibe. To find out more about the Google Pixel 7 Pro, click the link in the description box of the video. And now, back to the Eurostar. So this is the business premiere seat. First impressions is that it was comfy and sleek and definitely more spacious than standard. However, the train was quite busy and I ended up sitting next to someone else, which kind of makes it less private and comfortable, especially when I had to use the toilet or just get up and stretch my legs. Anyway, there is a plug and USB port here, handy for working, although the Wi-Fi is minimal, or just watching movies on this two hour and 20 minute trip. My favorite parts are probably the place to hang your coat, but also the big windows with a beautiful view outside. Just left some Paris International on our way to Paris right now. This is standard premiere. I'm really enjoying this so far. Apparently there's only six people in this cabin, which makes it very, very quiet um, and just like very comfortable. There's nobody sitting next to me because it's just one. Okay, we're sat down, seats are quite comfy, and this is what standard is. We managed to get two seats that have a table in front of them, which means you're also going to be facing one to two people, or no people, we'll see. And looking forward to uh, the next two hours and 20 minutes back to London. We have left exactly on time, and we're very lucky. There's actually no one in this group of four with us, so we can just spread out. Very comfy. Business Premier is the only class that serves hot food with a menu designed by Michelin starred chef Raymond Blanc. And I was very much looking forward to my fancy breakfast, but I was very underwhelmed when I saw it. I ordered a vegetarian option and this is what I got. Not quite the hot food I was expecting, but instead a bit of a sad looking cold fruit platter. Not shouting business class in my opinion. I wish I had brought a sandwich on board as I was still pretty hungry after my granola, fruit, and croissant. Also, they were meant to serve champagne, but did not. Tea and coffee did, however, come around to us. So this is what you get for standard premiere here in the Eurostar. Little croissant, a orange juice, bottle of water, yogurt, some cutlery with the branding, which I love. Soon, we're gonna get some coffee, which I'm also looking forward to it. And that's it. It's actually a really nice touch. It's not like a full, like, hot meal or something, but it's um, a good step up from economy that you get nothing. Okay, come with me. Okay, so when you're in standard, don't get anything free. No food, no drink, nothing brought to you. But there is a place you can go to go get something to eat, get some drinks, and to hang out for a little bit. We're gonna go check it out. So this is Cafe Metropole, and they serve uh, sandwiches, snacks, drinks, soft drinks, hard drinks, anything you need for your two and a half hour journey. So. We'll grab a couple of things. Can I have a beer? Can I have a beer? I'm gonna or have a, a beer. wine. Beer, wine, okay. Let's go. There's 
also another carriage over this way. So this is coach number one. It's the very last uh, coach of this whole train, very rear. Right here is the nose and also where it's going to be the front when you go back from Paris to London. Uh, the first three coaches on the front are business class and the last three are standard premier. So for me to get to Jess, I had to cross the whole 16 carriages of the Eurostar. Now I'm just halfway to Jess. 14 and 15 are all business premier, which is where Jess is, right here, coach 15. And in fact, there. Jess. Hello. So Jess, how is your business class experience? The seat is really comfortable. Um, I'm enjoying that and I like that they come around and they serve you coffee and tea as you wish. The food, however, not really a fan. Not really much better than what you're getting. No, because the seat is the same. So I'm, we're having the same sort of like, and actually I have a single seat, so for me it's actually better. And I'm not quite happy with the food. If your food wasn't good, then I think so far premium standard is winning. If you're thinking like that, uh, of course I didn't get fast track and I didn't get the lounge. But yeah, I didn't have to queue, so that's yeah, I did good. queue a lot, and that was pretty really bad. But once we're inside the train, I think so far premium standard is standing out. So let's compare the cost of these seats. I paid 276 pounds for the business premier seat. 253 pounds for the standard premiere and 125 pounds each for the standard tickets. And I booked these tickets two weeks before travel, which for Eurostar trains is pretty last minute. Based on those prices, I would say that business premiere had a much better value than standard premiere because for just an extra 23 pounds, I got to skip the queues and access the lounge. Having said that, do I think my business experience was 151 pounds better than my standard one? I don't think so. I would personally rather save the money and go to Paris twice, if I'm honest. Ultimately, I think the standard ticket has the best value. You can sometimes find one-way tickets for as cheap as 50 pounds or 39 pounds each way if you book a return ticket on the first and last trains. You can't really beat that. I'd say check the differences in prices between each of the cabins when you're making a booking. If it's a small difference, I think the upgrade is worth it. Otherwise, save your hard-earned money and buy some fancy croissants while in Paris. Just arriving in Paris in this beautiful Eurostar here. Jess has been waiting for 10 minutes already, just yeah. for me to get from the very end all the way here. Because you're traveling right here on the nose. Yeah, basically. I could have just gotten off like 20 minutes ago and just been <laughs> right out into Paris. So what now? So now we're going to go check into our hotel and get some lunch because I didn't really eat very much in business premiere. Hmm. And we are back at some Pankers International. Woo we had a super nice trip, right? Yeah, that was really good. Very lucky with nobody next to us. So we had like, a lot of space. So much space. It's great. So the queue for immigration was very easy. So easy. Didn't take long at all. So not bad at all to go on standard. Save some money. And we even had some drinks. Yeah, we did. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos about trains or things to do in London or things to do in Paris then click one of the boxes popping up right around me.